All right, guys, tonight we have a pretty sweet video. I just said in my live yesterday, in case you weren't watching, somebody had asked me about whether or not I like the new Ghostface animatronic, and I do, but the build looks a little kind of weird or something, and I do want a life-size ghost face in this room to go along with my scream stuff back here. So behind me here, I have this box that has a full-size male mannequin in it. I got from eBay for about 75 bucks. And then I just got this in the mail today. This is a 25th anniversary metallic sparkly ghost face costume from Scream. I got this for about 80 bucks, which is pretty cool because these usually go for over 200. I don't know if you can see, but this is a legit costume. You see how it's sparkly there? We're gonna be taking it out in a minute here. First, I wanna to put together the mannequin. This costume comes with the hooded robe, the gloves, the mask, and I think the mask is just like the face piece up here in the middle somewhere right there. I have um, a 25th anniversary ghost face mask with the sparkly hood on it, the sparkly hood that's attached. But I believe that this one only has like the face right there. So we'll find out in a minute. Let's put the mannequin together. All right, turn the camera a little bit here so we can open the box. <laughs> this mannequin has such a strange looking face on it. It's the male mannequin right there. He looks like he's mad about something. Um, this is apparently a used mannequin, but I've never bought a used product before that came with the instructions. We got a leg. That leg looks like it's in pretty good condition for a used leg. <laughs> and I don't know what size feet these are, but I have some boots that I picked up at a thrift store a while back that are like a size 9. They may actually fit on these feet. Alright. We got an arm, that's the left arm. We got another arm, and it's the right arm. Now let's just look at this hand here for a minute because this is not a posable hand, and we want it to be able to hold a knife. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is just like put the knife on there and then zip tie it onto the hand. All right, we got some random pieces, parts here. I think that's for the leg. Like a little kickstand kind of thing that you use to Make sure that he stands upright. We got a butt. <laughs> Don't look, kid. Okay, so yeah, we got a butt. But more importantly, here's the part that I was talking about that holds the kickstand. You push it up in there, and, uh, and it makes sure that this stands up correctly. If this was used, I can't imagine what they used it for, because this thing is in great shape. Usually these are about 200 bucks. I got it for 70 because it said it was used. All right. We got a torso. That guy's almost as ripped as I am. <laughs> and then we got what I guess will be the head in this box. There's a head in the box! Yep, that's what it is. Wait till you see the look on this guy's face. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> he looks like he's so mad about something right now. There you go. How weird is that? Alright, give me my hat back. Got a hole in the top of his head. Look at how his head is shaped. And it actually goes on this right here and it has this ball so that you can actually swivel it around. And that's one reason I chose this one because I want his head to be slightly cocked to the side. That makes Ghost Face look really creepy. All right, Mr. Mad at the World. <laughs> and then we have one more piece here and this is the base. I think it's metal. Yeah, wow, that's heavy. Yeah, this thing is certainly not used. That's a metal base. So these are the boots I was talking about that I got at the Goodwill a little while ago. I think these are like size 9 or something. Oh, 10 and a half. So they might actually fit on there. Let's try it. These are not the same kind of boots that were used in the Scream movie. In Scream, it was Reebok's box. Impossible to find. I've been trying to find them for years. These are just some that I thought hanging out from under the robe would look right. Foot, boot, we might get lucky. Public opinion is the name of these boots. Please fit, that would be so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, it fits! Holy crap, I cannot believe I randomly bought these boots from a Goodwill 
just in case I ever did this. This, this has got to be two years ago that I bought these boots. And they fit. How perfect is that? Oh my gosh, we got ghost face boots. How weird does that look right now? <laughs> okay, and then this one has that thing that's supposed to hold the kickstand. So I hope that doesn't get in the way of the boot here. Perfect. Look at that, it's right above the boot. Oh my gosh, I am blown away that these, these things actually fit. Wow, so cool. Never thought I could be so excited by holding a leg with a boot. All right, I got them on, got them tied up tight. I am just totally blown away that those fit. If I would have even put a pair of socks on this guy, they wouldn't have fit. Okay, so the kickstand goes onto the base first. We gotta connect this thing to the base. That goes on there, there's a hole. Bolt goes through there. There we go. Tighten it down a little bit. And this part, the kickstand, goes in there. Tighten that up. And then we slide that leg right down on there. Just like that. And that's what it'll hold it standing up. You just gotta tighten this bottom bolt a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. See if we can get the other leg on here. Best it's gonna be, I guess snaps right into the place wow this guy is tall i wonder if i should put the uh man he is skinny too what the heck yeah if that's blurred right now is because i figured youtube might have a problem with seeing a anyway all right now we're gonna take the ghost face out of the package here because i think before we put the arms on and the head we better go ahead and put the gown on so yeah here's the face I actually have some original Easter Unlimited faces, fearsome faces, just like this. Pretty cool. Wait a minute here. And it smells like vanilla. Whew. If you guys have never collected ghost face masks, you probably don't understand that. Ghost face masks smell like vanilla. It's just something they do at the factory when they're making them. We got the gloves here, and then we got the gown. Man, this makes me think of Scream 2 when they're in the theater and everybody's dressed up like Ghostface. There it is. I don't know. Can you guys see that it's sparkly? Pretty cool. If I had a, a can or a, a a light right up in the front here, you'd be able to see it better as the sparkly robe. But let's go ahead and put this on him. <laughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my gosh, I am so glad. Let me show you the boots. Look at the boots sticking out down there. I am so glad I picked those up when I did. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm still blown away that they actually fit this thing. And this is one super tall mannequin. Look at this. Here's my head. We're still talking neck right here. We didn't even have a head on yet. All right, we're going to save the head for last. Let's go ahead and put the arms on. I figured it'd be easiest this way because now all we have to do, it's got elastic on here. It's going to be difficult. All we have to do is open it up, pop it through, and then mess with it till it goes on. Okay, this is harder than I thought it would be. Ah, oh, there we go. That opens up. Here we go. We got one on. Ooh, okay. I thought it was breaking. That clicking is the sound of you actually moving the arm to position it. Although it doesn't want to stay up. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and get the gloves on the hands. I don't know if these things are going to fit or not. I think so. Look at that. All right, there's one. Glove number two. Yeah, reminds me of Michael Jackson with the sparkles. Arm down over there. Elastic on the uh, the wrists. All right, it's coming. Time for the head. So on this one, this goes up in here. This screws on on the top there. And then this allows the head to swivel. Hmm. All right, there you go. You gotta make it pretty tight in order for that to swivel and hold into place. All right, Mr. Man, Mr. Madman. That goes on there. How do we want him standing? We want him to the side and 
kind of turn towards us. Excuse me, sir. All right, sideways, torso turned a little bit, head turned. Yeah, I guess it kind of works to cock it to the side. Not much room to play with there. All right, here we go, guys. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, turn off that overhead light. Look at that. Tuck that in a little bit. There you go, that is pretty cool, guys. Let me let me put him in place and then we'll take a look at him. All right, I got him set up here on the end where I want him. I'll show you in a minute how he looks, but first I gotta put this knife in his hand. And I took this off of my display over here. It's supposed to be right here on the display, but I want it in his hand. So I'll just grab another one when I go to Spirit this year. All right, so I got that on there. I used a zip tie, a white zip tie. That's the only one I had. So I'm just gonna color it with a little black and red so it matches the knife. There you go, it disappears right on there. The buzzing you hear are the bubbles over here. So here we go, guys. Starting at the feet with the awesome boots. Look at that. That is pretty dang creepy. That is an awesome addition to my screen wall over there. And there's how he looks in the background while I'm doing videos sitting right here at my desk. Very cool, guys.